Last Words by Inmates. Hey guys, welcome to another exciting video. I hope you guys are doing well. So, as you all know, prisoners get a last chance to say something before they are executed. Some beg for their life. Some have no sense and some remain stubbornly hardened and brutal till the end. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the 10 last words said by inmates. So, let's get into the video. Grover Cleveland Redding. His last words? I have something to say, but not at this time. He was mentally unstable and had a personality disorder thinking that he was the prince of Abyssinia. He also thought that he was on a mission to bring people back to the homeland. He was sentenced to death for starting an anti-government riot. Richard Zeitvigel. His last words? Keep the faith and rock on. Richard was arrested for armed robbery and rape. Also in 1981, he, with his lover, stabbed an inmate. Richard got life in prison, but in 1984, he killed another inmate and then was executed. James French. His last words? How about this for a headline for tomorrow's paper? French fries. James was arrested because of the murder of a driver who picked him up from hitchhiking. He also killed his inmate to compel the state to execute him by electric chair. He never wanted to live more, but he was scared at the end. Joseph Garcia His last words, Dear Heavenly Father, please forgive them, for they know not what they do. Joseph was a member of the Texas 7 gang. He was already given the punishment of 50 years in prison for murder. He joined a massive prison break in Texas. He took part in a crime spree that led to the murder of a police officer. Michael Brandon Samra. His last words? I would like to thank Jesus for everything he has done for me. Amen. In 1997, Michael and his friend Mark Duke were captured because of the murders they had done. The deaths included Duke's father, the father's girlfriend, and the two daughters of the woman. The two adults were shot while the kids had their throats slit. David Earl Miller. His last words? Beats being on death row. David used a fire poker bludgeon to stab a young woman, Lee Standifer. This woman went on a first date with David nearly 40 years earlier, though she was born with mild brain damage. Edmund Zagorski. His last words? Let's rock. In April 1983, during a drug deal, Edmund killed two men. The prosecutors said that these two men were shot at first. Then, after robbing them, Edmund slit their throats. Robert Alton Harris. His last words? You can be a king or a street sweeper, but everyone dances with the Grim Reaper. In 1978, Robert, along with his brother, went to a restaurant and abducted two young boys, and Robert shot them. After that, they used a stolen car to rob a bank. George Engel. His last words? Hurrah for anarchy. This is the happiest moment of my life. In 1886, seven policemen died because of George. It was a big rally of anarchists and labor activists when a bomb was thrown. Nobody knew about the bomb, but then it was concluded that George threw the bomb. Barbara Graham. Her last words? Good people are always so sure they're right. Barbara had a very rough and tough childhood. Then she got into prostitution before getting married. She, along with her husband, decided to rob a widow. While robbing the widow, she shot her because the widow was screaming. So guys, this was all for today. I hope that you liked the video. For more information and updates, please subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to tap the bell icon. Bye!